then over time, there are also cases that uh, the customer risk increases, right? So maybe the consumer takes on too much debt externally. Uh, there's some financial difficulty. Uh, in that case, we can also reduce the credit line, right? So there's a credit line decrease decision that we can make. Uh, again, every month, uh, the lender will run the strategy against the whole uh, customer base uh, to see which ones are uh, high-risk customers. So they warrant a credit line decrease before they continue to wrap up the debt. Uh, in this case, for example, uh, the $6,000 limit was brought down to $3,000 limit. Okay. Uh, then... In some cases, uh, the customer fails to make the minimum required payment, and then it becomes delinquent. Uh, okay, so after the account becomes delinquent, uh, sometimes the consumer still attempts to make a purchase uh, because uh, the customer simply forgets about, uh, oh, I was supposed to pay this bill yesterday. Uh, I forgot, okay, so now I buy a, a pack of gum in a grocery store. Uh, so then there's another decision point for lender. Do you want to approve this authorization or not? Uh, it's from a delinquent customer. Okay. Again, this is based on the overall risk profile. Uh, if the credit is good, just a couple of bucks. So yeah, you just approve that, right? So, but uh, uh, in some cases, uh, you know the risk is high, the customer just experienced a line decrease. So, uh, Let's just decline the transaction. Okay, so if the customer continue uh, as a delinquent account, that means uh, uh, for whatever reason, uh, the customer cannot uh, pay the minimum required payment back. Uh, so then we need to talk to the customer trying to collect that money. So this is the decision for collections. Uh, there are decisions uh, who do we want to talk to first? And uh, we are what way, right? Do we want to get them on the phone, talk to them? Or do we want to send them a letter? So uh, there are different collection treatments. So there's a, a bunch of decisions here. Uh, so at the end, uh, if after several months, typically for credit card is six months, for mortgage it could be uh, three months or four months, uh, you think, okay, this account has been delinquent so long, uh, let's consider it as a bad debt uh, or loss or chart off. Okay, so then this is for accounting purpose, you recognize this outstanding loan as a chart off, as a loss. Uh, however, the collection activity does not stop here. You can still collect the uh, debt. Uh, whether internally or you can outsource that activity to uh, a different vendor uh, who specializes in the debt collection uh, on the bad debts. So this is called the recovery. Uh, it's already bad that you try to recover uh, some money. Uh, so you don't expect to recover 100%. If you can recover $20 out of $100 bad debt, uh, that's still pretty good. So this is the uh, example of a credit life cycle of a credit card account. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are many credit risk decision points. Uh, for installment loan, uh, it's relatively easy, right? You just have the origination uh, decisions to make, uh, whether to approve the loan, how much to approve. Uh, you don't have all the uh, limit management uh, in between. Uh, but still, you need to work on collections of the loan, recovery of the loan. Okay, so that's the overview of credit life cycle and the risk management decisions.